I'm going in. All right. Good luck, Phoebes. Here I go. All right. <laughs> Because of the whole the horrible and degrading list of reasons not to be with me. Hey, happy Christmas Eve, Eve. Funny joke. Um, well, not really funny joke, but my family does this thing where we say Merry Christmas, Eve, Eve. Uh, none of us have seen Friends, but we say that to each other just uh, because you know why not? I don't. I don't really know who started that, but we always do that with most holidays, actually. Merry Christmas, Eve, Eve. Merry Christmas, Eve. We don't, we don't say, you know, happy day after Christmas or anything, but, you know, if it's like two days or three days before, we'll say Eve Eve to each other. Anybody else do that? Or is it just, you know, my family? I, oh I don't my... know. Okay, I have to talk to my grandmother. <laughs> Wait a minute, honey. Please, please. Ooh. All right, that is not your father. That's just a picture of a guy in a frame. Oh, God. This is the real him. Oh, keep like trying. You make a list about me. I'm not gonna stand it. Okay, you're it... whiny. You are obsessive. Oh my god. You are insecure. You liked me for what a year, and you didn't do anything about. It. Hey. Hello, Grandma. If that is in fact your real name. <laughs> Come on. She knows his address. He lives it. Wish me luck, Grandpa. <laughs> this woman lies about everything. Let me try it. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot about your ability to fuse metal. Hey, it's Funny's cousin. Not funny. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Trigger. <laughs> Mr. Trigger. Uh, you said there was a party. Oh, yeah. It's kind of cool how... The one where Heckles dies brought in this character, and I didn't think he'd be a recurring character. I thought he was just someone who appeared in that episode, but now, you know, it seems like he might be a recurring character. And that's, it's kind of cool how the death of one character can bring in, you know, another character. It, it's something that happens in pretty much every show that I watch, but it's cool to see that in Friends for the first time. I guess you he's really not did like my ball. cookies. Oh yeah, they were so personal. Really showed you cared. Oh, why did I just do that one face from that uh, that girl? I, I can't remember her TikTok, but it was that one thing where you know someone threw something at Stevie Wonder's face and he dodged it, and she was like, "Oh, you know what I mean?" Like, I just felt that. I, I felt like I was that girl in that video. You'll make it past the hedges. Yeah. And when you do, they'll be lucky to have you. You oh, guys. <clears throat> I couldn't go in. I'm sorry. Well, are you okay? Yeah. Hey, Monica, the knob was broken, so I just turned it off from underneath. I hope that's all right. <laughs> Joey's the smart one? Wow, wow, wow. It was really that simple and only Joey knew. Only Joey knew the answer. What has the world come to when Joey is solving the problems? <laughs> no disrespect, no disrespect. I know I, that sounded very disrespectful, Joey. I'm so sorry. I love you, man. But come on. Gross. Mr. Paleontol... Let me not, let me not stereotype based off career paths. <laughs> let me, let me not base... Base his uh, potential carpentry skills or, you know, just general knowledge on house, uh, uh, house appliances or whatever. <laughs> wow. That's wild. 
I want I want to tell you guys really quickly while I was crying. I was crying towards the end of that episode because it reminded me of uh, a lot of anime. Because I don't know if you guys have seen any anime here. For those of you that have, a lot of anime characters go without parents, and it, it saddens me every time. Every time I can see the same thing done over and over again in different ways. And it makes me sad every time. This particular situation reminded me. Now, we, we may not know all the details yet about her father and why he did what he did. You know, because so far we've only heard Phoebe's grandmother's side. Um, you know, Phoebe's mom's side. I haven't heard his side of things. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But... It did kind of remind me of uh, my mother's situation and how, you know, at this point, I think both my, at this point in time, both my mom's parents are deceased. Uh, the thing is, she didn't really know her father. So, you know, it was just her mother raising her. And, uh, I don't know, it just, it really saddens me seeing like a daughter grow up in the world without her father, you know? I feel like all daughters should know their fathers. All I feel like all daughters should know both parents. I feel like all children should know both parents, but some don't, some only know one parent, some don't know any and just have either a guardian, foster parent or a relative raise them something like that and adopted uh or they're they get adopted later in life or something it saddens me like just seeing adult phoebe uh have to go through this and it warms my heart seeing her relationship with joey and chandler flourish in spite of her efforts to see her father for the first time it was it was such an emotional scene and i don't even know if they intended it to be that emotional i, I know i'm kind of a sensitive guy but that was that was intense for me so intense that i gotta start the next episode now so i'm gonna start the one with russ whoever that is it's probably not referring to you know the the rapper or the NBA player, because I don't think Westbrook was born at this. Wait, no, he was. He was. Pretty sure Westbrook was born in uh, the 80s, the late 80s or early 90s. No, late 80s, probably 1989 or 88 or something. Anyways, I'm going to start this next episode, guys. Catch me back next Sunday for this next episode, and I will see you guys soon. Stay safe, you know, stay COVID free. Peace. Depot on the beach.